So New World recently had the big November patch with many, many changes coming to the game. Now the patch notes itself, uh, to be honest, they weren't too bad. What was changed, what was added, this and the other, wasn't too much of an issue. What was an issue and why a lot of the community are kind of, well, not happy about are the unofficial changes. The changes, well, I say unofficial, they've definitely happened, but what they are, they were never announced. They were never disclosed. These changes happened without Amazon telling the community. And today, guys, we're getting to all changes known of so far that have come to New World that were not in the patch notes, the 1.1 patch notes. How's it going, guys? My name's DPJ, and to give back to you guys, I'm giving away 10,000 marks of fortune. To be in with a chance of winning these, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below, make sure you're subbed and have notifications turned on. I will be picking a winner from the comments section of my videos over the past week, so the more videos you support me on, the more of a chance you have of winning. Good luck! So with the patch 1.1, the November update, we had many, many changes. For the most part, all seemingly good but it was the changes they didn't announce which a lot of people are unhappy about and there were many many of them guys and today we go through a list put together by arius1101 on reddit so credit to this dude for organizing this list which i'll link down below within the comment section if you do want to read through it yourself and check out all the sources to what is stated but for the most part i can tell you what i'm seeing here and what we'll go through today they've definitely happened in game so these are the unofficial changes that landed with the patch 1.1, the November update. Okay, so starting with the world. We placed a well in the middle of the Everfall with a fountain. Can't say I noticed that myself. We placed a statue in the middle of Morningdale with a fountain. Increased difficulty of some high level elites. This actually guys, if you read the post, and it's what I've noticed myself, it seems as though all high level elites have been drastically increased in terms of damage outputs and how tankier they are, which is a crazy change in my opinion, but hey. High number of players in an area will now make the bosses even harder and loot worse. This is definitely something I've experienced myself, but when it comes to loot being worse, I mean, I'm not sure if players in the area make any kind of difference because for me i was farming earlier nobody within the area i was in and loot from chests just seemed real bad so it may be affected by players in the area too but it seems though loot from chests has just been nerfed altogether decreased loot quality and quantity from elite chests this is definitely something i've felt myself and it's been reported by thousands of players Reduced armor pieces loot probability and increased weapons loot probability in an attempt to balance war mark increase. And he goes on to say actually completely removed the armor drop from mines and merc guard. Which could indeed be the case guys. I mean, come to think of it, I think that's actually right, but I can't confirm that myself. Adjusted some paths that were allowing players to skip high level mobs to access elite bosses. Decreased spawn rate of some mobs that could be exploited for resources. Fixed Mosul, the Herald's reset distance, which I can't say I noticed myself. Reputation and territory. Territory influence will now be blocked when there is an upcoming invasion. Change territory reward scaling and shuffle system. Added elemental bear spawn points to the weaver's area. Okay, so on to weapons. The bow. Remove the possibility to cancel the animation of the penetrating shot. Remove possibility to cancel the animation of the poison shot. Musket. Decrease the time needed to reload by about 10%. Fire staff. Remove possibility to dash cancel the startup of flame thrower. I am a uh, fire staff user myself. Don't really use flame thrower though. I'm hearing it's quite good now after the recent patch. Okay, so it states stuff. Change weaver's nut ring by replacing a luck perk by keen and awareness perks. Changed O crystal so it no longer has a taunt gem in slot. Fix the skin of the stone cutter googles. Not, not sure if that's supposed to say goggles. Change some armor skins. Added a gem slot to the hammer terror crush. Move down luck perks from several weapons, making it only available on legendary versions, which I have seen and noticed myself. Trading skills and gathering. Reduced number of required high level components on some recipes. The 300 stat perks that allowed players to one shot resource nodes can no longer be triggered after the first hit by cancelling gathering. Added legendary resources that were needed to craft some recipes to loot tables. Crafting void ingots now requires 200 smelting. 
Wow. Fixed a lot of wrong descriptions on portion, food, armor, weapons, etc. Remove the legendary hides from strange boar's loot table. Elemental monsters now drop simple malts instead of quintessences when gathered. These are the guys now I don't even think at the moment you can farm them. Craziness. Adjusted some or replacement. Adjusted young tree and mature tree population around Everfall and cutlass keys. And system and UI. Reduce volume of sound effects in craft stations and tweaked AFK detection system. So there we have it guys. These are the noted unofficial changes that have come with the 1.1 update which is quite a lot to be honest and there's probably many many more now we'll wait on a response from anybody at amazon games and as soon as that lands guys i will have you covered right here on my channel but yes if you do want to check out this list like i said put together by areas 1101 on reddit with all sources to where this information is gathered from you'll find that linked down below but tell me your thoughts on this down below guys within that comment section and on that note the end of the video has arrived people i thought i'd put together this list in video form for the many people out there that actually don't go on reddit and if you guys enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps me out if you're new around here and want to see more new world be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video i upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully i'll see you on that next one